And I'd like us to take our Bibles in Romans chapter 8, Romans chapter 8 and and verse 3. Romans chapter 8 and verse 3. And we read, For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending His own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, And for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. He says, Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So what we have in Jesus Christ, in His living book, is that there was all the corrupt nature, everything to do with it. And there was all divinity. And this divinity overcame the iniquity in him. That's what happened. Literally, it happened. We're not talking a theory here. We're not talking, we're not just coming to this as knowledge. This is what is information in the Lamb's book of life. This is what was in him, in his body. God and sinful flesh dwelling together. He embraced the enemy. And we read in Hebrews chapter 2, Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14, for as much as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also likewise took part of the same. That through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is the devil. And deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make reconciliation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself hath suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted." So this is the file. This is the file that is in heaven today. And this was the file that was in heaven at the day Adam sinned. This is the way. And when we believe that Jesus Christ on that cross is me, in what we referred to the last study, when we believe that, We've only just started the journey. So when I believe that Jesus on the cross was me, then my name gets written where? In the Lamb's book of life. My name gets written there. And that's what Jesus says to the the disciples. He says, don't rejoice that the devils are, are, are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are written in heaven. And so here is now my file in heaven. Now this file became my file because I entered into a covenant with God. And this covenant is based upon promises. The same promises that were based with Abraham. These promises... And the promises are two things primarily. And that is that Jesus would possess the gates of his 
enemy. Second, that there is a blessing to inherit. Inherit everlasting life. The purity, uh, sorry, the perfection of God. Two things. Two things primarily were the promises that Jesus Christ would possess the gates of the enemy. He would possess my nature. He would hold on to it and he would take it to the cross. And he promised that he would give me everlasting life. And now a covenant is between two people. And for the two people, there needs to be the earnest, as we studied last time, this earnest, which is the spirit. So here I am, me or you, and here's God's side of the covenant that Jesus will become me and he will perfect me. What's my side of the covenant? All that thou hast said I will do. Read with me the covenant that was made with Abraham. The covenant that was made with Abraham. In Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter 15. And reading in verse 5 and 6, Genesis 15, verse 5 and 6. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell me the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he, Abraham, believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. So we established last study that for us to identify ourselves with Jesus, we need to reckon it so. We need to believe that the sufferings that I am going through is what Christ went through so that what I'm going through is what is Christ. It is Christ. And as I dwell upon the pain, whether it's through relationship hurts or whether it's through failure or whatever it is, and that pain that I get, and I think about this is what Jesus Christ bore for me. This exact feeling that I'm getting right now, that's it. I believe that. I believe that he possessed the gate of my enemies. I believe that Jesus became sin for me. I believe that Jesus took upon my sinful nature. And as I believe that, my name is written in the Lamb's book of life when I believe it. And now, for perfection, that I will believe that he will perfect me to inherit eternal life. Two beliefs. And so we read in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 27, the commandment of God for us today and for the time of Abraham. This is the commandment of God in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 27.